Hi, I'm Alison. And I'm Phil. And we've been the team leaders for the second half of the USA phase. Today we've been at the Alltech conference where we got to go to some of the equine breakout sessions on equine reproduction and we're also going to hear Don Pride, CEO of the Dolphin, talk about the Dolphin Flying Star. Let's see how everyone has enjoyed their time in America so far. From the Florida Derby to the Kentucky Derby. Let's check it out. Here at Gulfstream, uh, end of Florida Derby Day. It's been a great day here. Just saw Audible win the race. Uh, five weeks out to the Kentucky Derby and looks one of the best prospects so far. Uh, what do you think, Will? Yeah, it's been a really fun day. Um, this morning we were at Phil uh, and Snatchy, uh, his family's uh, trotting uh, on. Uh, and we all got to go on one of the sulkies by the trotter, which is called the Fuck. Stallion farms here in Kentucky in the last month, including Claiborne, where we got to see Warfront, uh, Windstar, and Hillendale as well, where we got to see Carlin and Kittens Joy in his uh, new home. It was our first time visiting Churchill Downs, and it was so much fun being present for the Oaks and the Derby. On Oaks Day, we had amazing seats right on the wire, and I actually had a particularly good day betting as well. Um, I backed Toinette, who won the Great Three Edgewood, and then I backed the Oaks winner, Monomoy Girl. We had a great day for the Derby as well. We had the same seats and that allowed us to see um, great racing. We saw all the horses that have been working at Churchill Downs during the morning works. And the quality field this year for Derby was a great. Uh, we could see Justify winning, who is now at, at the great, as a great shot for the Prickness and the Triple Crown. And I really had a great time at the Derby. The atmosphere was amazing. It was packed and it was raining. But Overall, it was a great time. So we spent the last two weeks here at the Kentucky Horseshoeing School learning all about Farrier from Mitch Taylor. We've seen a lot of cool things including um, horseshoes being made from scratch from steel. We've also learnt a lot, first off by trimming cadaver feet. We then moved on to live trimming. And there's also been a lot of lectures and other learning materials throughout the two weeks. We feel like we've all learnt a lot and it's been very educational and we certainly have a greater appreciation for our farriers in the future. cultural trip to Nashville last weekend, uh, the home of country music which I'm sure all of the trainees enjoyed. Uh, so we're coming to the end of our US phase now at the moment and we're all getting ready to head off on placements with some of the trainees going to California, some to New York to trainers, others based with bloodstock agents here in Lexington and in Ocala and others going to uh, some advertising companies. So we're all really looking forward to uh, the massive opportunities that lie ahead. That's all for now. We hope you've enjoyed watching our video. Follow us on our social media platforms to keep in touch with what we're up to.